and welcome. We are at the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. Welcome to the Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot. Say hi, Ben. Hi. <laughs> and we are coming upon Pluto and Goofy up here. at that line for Spaceship Earth. It is going to be a crowded day here. And people are still just pouring in. So the first thing we do is we grab this um, passport book and it's the um, Flower and Garden Festival book. Can you turn this, honey? So we could, sh and it shows you, for instance, everything, keep going in each booth and it gives you a description. Well, that's just the token tree. Skip to like a little. So, see how it gives you the, um, well, that's not the country. Go on one more page. Yeah, it gives you the entertainment. And then what it gives you, is it gives you each kitchen um, and it shows you exactly all the food and the beverages in each um, different country. So, Let's just go to the Honey Bee Bistro. So that gives you some things. And I definitely want to try this lavender thing. That's something new. So I want to try that. And we go through and we kind of look at new stuff each year to see what's different and what we want to try. And another thing, not related to Disney at all, do you think this color is actual spring color or more of a summer color? Leave a comment down below. Trees. And this one is themed off of Toyland. There's another little tapestry for the Lion King. How cute is that? Look how pretty these flowers are. And you can't see it, but when we get to the other side, we'll show it to you. But this is the shape of a Mickey. So it is so pretty. And it smells. Like fresh flowers. It smells so good. And here comes the monorail. Look at that. Our first stop is at the Honey Bee Bistro Garden and this is where that lavender flatbread was that we are going to get. So this is the um, flatbread pizza. Let me tell you what's in it. It is lavender honey mustard marinated chicken flatbread with whipped honey ricotta cheese, marinated vegetables, and goat cheese. This is uh, lavender honey, according to the menu. He's eating it with a knife. Well, I'm trying to scoop it up. They were out of a fork. They're out of forks. And it's really hot. Not that you need a fork or a knife to eat something that looks like a pizza. 
your first impressions of that lavender honey? I'm not getting the lavender. I'm definitely get the mustard and the honey. I'm guessing maybe that's the lavender. Maybe. Lavender. Definitely get the honey. Yeah, the honey is lavender. But are you saying that it doesn't taste like lavender at all? It just tastes like regular honey. Mm hmm Mustard. Honey mustard. And a tip that she told me. As of right now, the recording of this video, if you come Monday through Thursday, there is discount with your pass holder thing at the booths but not on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Oh, like your pass holder pass. Yeah, you get discounts on your... Usually on you get stuff. like a, what, a 15 or 20% discount? Or something like that? But that could change. I mean, that's just as of today. But um, would you get this again? I would get it again. I mean, I don't know if it was worth the, what, how much was it? It's uh, five bucks, I think. Or essentially flatbread. Bad, it's not bad. I mean, I would get it again. It's not bad. But. We did a repeat. We did get this last year. It's one of my favorites. It's non-alcoholic. It's a frozen dessert violet lemonade. And this we have not tried, which is a spicy hot dog with pineapple chutney and plantain chips. So let's try our dessert violet. Ah, I've been waiting for this all year. This is delish. What, what's inside it? Um, it's just a dessert violet lemonade. So it's violet flavored lemonade. And it's frozen. So it's kind of like a slushy. Yes. Like a small little slushy with yeah. It appears to be like an edible flower on it. And it's so sunny here, it's starting to melt. Yeah, so. one of those things we gotta just uh, drink it real quick. But uh, the lavender is not too overpowering on it, then, right? No, uh uh. She's Perfect. I could do a bigger one of these if they sold this year round. I would definitely get it. Okay, so let's try the spicy hot dog. This guy told me it wasn't too spicy, or he would buy it from me, but that wasn't necessary. It's a big hot dog too, they loaded it. Oh my goodness, it's like falling apart. Is that apart. Um, onion chips on it? These are plantain chips with oh, onions. Plantain chips. I'm gonna have to cut it because it's falling apart as yeah. I'm. So let's start it this way. Get this out of the way. It's got a pineapple chutney in here too. I can taste the spice, but it's not like, I don't really like a lot of spicy stuff, but the pineapple kind of counteracts it. So it's not that spicy, but it is spicy. If you don't like spicy stuff, I wouldn't recommend this. On a scale of like one to 10, how spicy is it? Probably like a five. Oh, so it's kind of up there then with the, has a nice kick to it. Mm -hmm. so. There's a kick. But it's probably, purposely done that so that it, it gets counteracted with the, the sweet, pineapple sweet pineapple yeah so here's pineapple and the salt from the plantain chips the pineapple definitely counteracts it so is this something that you recommend no. others they have to try it at least once I would try it once let me try it with the um but not necessarily try it again would I try it again? Yeah. Yeah, I would try it again. You would try it again? Yeah. Okay. So now this is, has it with everything on it. So let's try it with, it has a little bit of the crunch, it has the pineapple, or it has the hot dog. So let's try it. With all three pieces of this, you don't even taste the spice. I all counteract. It's good. I would, 
I would get it again. I mean, I wouldn't get a bigger size than this. This is probably the perfect size for this to have, but it's good. So here's some of the merchandise for Flower and Garden. This is what I want. And it even says on the other side, Flower, Epcot International Flower Garden Festival. But that's why I want that mug. That's the cutest thing. They have this. So let me see how much this mug is. $20, but then you get a discount. And then they have these plastic ones. Ooh, this might be good, because then I could take this to the pool. And they're corksicle. Hmm, I gotta think about that for a second. But I like both of them. Decisions, decisions. Then, we have these, the shoulder plush. These are the things you put on your shoulder and they're magnified. showcase and it has Mickey. The mops at, uh, Hollywood Studios. Yeah, they have a lot of detail on them. A lot of detail. <laughs> well, they changed some of them out. Here's the three amigos. Here's the long line for the margaritas. There's always a line here. But they do make good margaritas, I will tell you that. 